What is up, Eagles fans? It's E-Rock. Welcome to a rainy and shitty Wednesday afternoon. But here is the good news. We once again get to focus our attention on our NFC East rivals, the New York Giants, because the Eagles are coming off of that bye. And I know I didn't make a video last week, but to be honest with you, I was trying to avoid my own hypocrisy. Because after the Eagles beat the Giants the first time, I was sitting on camera saying, listen, you got to enjoy these wins. It's okay. It's okay to smile and enjoy those wins. It's okay to savor that winning flavor yeah I was enjoying the win against the Cowboys against a historically bad defense against a team that had practically thrown in the towel and selling off pieces of their defense at the trade deadline against a third string quarterback named Ben DiNucci oh yeah Oh no, I was I, I was enjoying the win. Ugh. But hey, the bye week is over. You think I'd be in a good mood? We're getting back to Eagles football. They're going back to beat up on the Giants, a team which we have historically been whipping that ass for years now. For years now. So you would think that I am in a good mood, and I am here to tell you that I am not. I'm not. I'm pissed off. I want to talk about it. First of all. Brett Favre's comments, and I know everybody was up in a tizzy when he originally said it, which is ironic because I thought we were at the city, that no one likes us, we don't care, right? Right? And I tweeted that along with, who gives a shit what Johnny Dick Pick says about the Nick Foles, Carson Wentz situation as if that was even a situation anymore? Is this even still a thing? Nick Foles and Carson Wentz? Nick Foles, the same guy who went to Jacksonville and and and, and lost his job to that Uncle Rico lookalike guard in the Minshew with that mustache and then get signs with the with the Bears and can't even beat out Mitchell Trubisky for the lead job? Is this, is this still a thing? Who cares what a guy who's slinging Wrangler jeans and copper fit fucking old man the, the, my joints hurt cuffs. Who gives a shit? I'm going to quote my man Aton Shander on this one. Who was a prophet. Who tweeted probably the most profound thing that I've ever read in the history of Philadelphia sports tweets. And it says, and I quote, No one likes us, we don't care, was the biggest lie ever told to Philadelphia. Ooh, that stings. Doesn't it? Ooh, ooh, blah, 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 blah. I get I, I, I get the shivers just reading it because it works when it fits our narrative. But the minute somebody says something about bad about Carson Wentz on a hot takey show, the minute that the NFL Network doesn't include Carson Wentz in a top 100 list, but Dak Prescott's on the list, heaven fucking forbid. The minute that anybody says anything bad about the Eagles or bad about Doug Peterson, boy, we get all in our fucking feelings, don't we? No one likes us, we don't care, though, right? And then here's another layer. God, I, 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 may, uh, maybe it's that time of the month for me. I, 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 I don't know, but I'm, but I'm just, uh, I'm angry. Then I got Doug Peterson up there at a press conference today. Hey, Doug, what do you think about what Brett Favre said? Me? If I'm sitting there, I'm going, hey, Brett, me, me and Brett are buddies. We go way back. Doesn't mean I'm going to agree with everything that he says, and I certainly don't agree with what he just said. We are committed to number uh, 11. We love Wentz. Wentz is our guy, and we, we, we're going to ride or die with this guy 100%. Boom. That's all you got to fucking say right off the top of my head. Hey, Doug, what do you think about what Brett Favre said? Well, he's certainly entitled to his opinion the fuck is that supposed to mean? Okay, we'll try it again. Ask a couple questions a little bit later. Uh, hi, Doug, Les Bowen says. Hi, Doug. Uh, just to clarify, um, when you say that, you know, he's entitled to your opinion, I'm assuming that that doesn't mean that that's your opinion. Brett Favre is entitled to his opinion, and I'll leave it at that. The fuck is that supposed to mean? Back your quarterback, dude. And then Rob Motti's got to come off the top rope, lead the, grab Doug by the ears, and lead this dumbass mule to water and say, hey, Doug, going to give you one last time to clarify before everyone blows this out of proportion. 
What'd you mean by that? And then he finally get like if I, the light bulb. I, I don't even know if it's a light bulb anymore. I just don't know anymore, dude. I, I, I don't know. You would think I would be in a good mood. The Eagles are coming back. They're getting back reinforcements. They're playing the New York Giants, who we've been whipping that ass seemingly for years now. And it always seems like the Philadelphia Eagles' fortunes turn around when they play the New York Football Giants, doesn't it? Miracle at the Meadowlands. Jake Elliott banging 60-plus yard field goals on the way to the Super Bowl and turning the season around. You would think I would be, like, excited about the second half of the season. But so far, either, like, even just this fucking Brett Favre bullshit is just another added layer on top of another added layer, on top of last week's added layer, on top of two weeks ago added layer of just drama and bad coaching and bad play calling and injuries and poor play and bad personnel moves, smush it, Put it on an Amoroso roll, wrap it up, double-decker shit sandwich that is the 2020 Philadelphia Eagles seasons. Pack it, ship it, let it dribble all over the chin, make sure you bring extra napkins. Like I'm, just, I'm just pissed off, and you know what pisses me off? It's like, it's like I'm going to circle back around to something I said on Instagram before I was making putting shit back out on YouTube, which is I don't like the fucking vibe of this football team. I just don't like it. I, I just don't feel the vibe that this team is playing or feeling like a winner. I mean, you take it all the way back to the off seasons, whether it's Malcolm Jenkins being let go because he's the leader and technically it should be Carson Wentz's locker room or Jason Peters being released and then he can't find a job so we bring him on back because we got an injury thing. But then he wants more money to play left tackle? He wants more money to help out this team? Are you shitting me? You got Zach Ertz, who was the most mild-mannered guy on the, on the football team, getting into arguments with Howie Roseman so loud that beat reporters can hear it. You got Doug Peterson getting pissy with the with the goddamn media by week one. You get in season. It's, who's pulling the strings for the Philadelphia Eagles? Is it actually Howie Roseman, or is it Doug Peterson deciding who plays and who doesn't? Are you, are you shitting me? It, it, Doug Peterson? Well, you know, he should have an offensive coordinator because just play oh my god I'm just I'm I'm exhausted we're entering the second half of the season and I am exhausted this season has been the perfect metaphor for the year 2020 20, 2020 where it's just the news gets worse and worse and worse and worse and we can't wait till it's over here's the good news because Uncle Tailgate found the good news out of this entire shit sandwich. Is that if you're going to turn it around, you better do it right here, right now against the New York Giants. Because maybe this isn't such good news. But if you take a look past that, it's murderer's row out there. You're looking at Seattle. You're looking at the Saints. You're looking at Green Bay. You're looking at probably not winning another game for a very long time. Maybe against Cleveland. But you have to turn it around against the New York Giants. You have to make a statement in the first game of the second half of the season. And there's no better team to do it against. There's no better team to do it against. There is no better team to do it against than the New York Giants. Listen, this has been tough. It's been a tough season. Prove to me that you can do it. Show me that you can do it. We want to believe in the worst way possible. We want to believe that the Brett Favre's of the world and all the doubters of the world were wrong. And we were right into backing Doug Peterson and backing Carson Wentz. We want to be right. But you got to prove us right. And it starts against the New York Giants. I don't know what else to say besides that, man. I'm getting sick of the drama. I'm getting sick of the problems. I'm getting sick of the injuries. I'm getting sick of the questions. I'm getting sick of the doubters. I'm getting sick of the naysayers. I'm sick. Not not sick. Don't like I. You, you, fuck. You know what I mean. Go birds.